Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Today is Sunday, March 12th, 2023. Already, I'm telling you, <laughs> this year is already flying by. It's crazy. And for some reason, I want to say it feels like nothing's been accomplished. So maybe some of you are feeling that way, just reflecting over past decisions and choices that you've made, because we do have choices here, feeling blocked and restrained. Um, number six, six, sixteen. So that could be significant. Those numbers, um, a moment's regret, nostalgia, idolizing the past, fearing that you've made a mistake. So some of you might be feeling like you made a mistake in whatever choice that you made or the choices that you've made within a situation, partnership or otherwise. Um, some of you could be just reflecting on the different things that you've said and done. Um, cause I don't know, for some reason it feels like today is a day of reflection or something like, um, within this energy, there's a lot of thinking, maybe a lot of clarity is coming in or someone's seeking clarity. Cause I, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. The energy is just kind of meh <laughs> for some reason. So someone could have a lot on their mind. Like, what do I do in this situation? Where do I go from here? Based off from whatever choices you've made, they've made, what have you. So let's see. What is the main energy, please, Spirit? Let's give us something upbeat, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Because <laughs> I'm sick of this negative crap that keeps coming out off and on. And maybe a lot of you are or someone's sick of the negative people, the negativity around them um, in life in general and what, what have you wake up. It's your moment. So wake up. It's time to shine. Wake up little Susie. Wake up, <sighs> wake up to your potential. You've been sleeping on the job. It's time to wake up and do, and do your job, do what you need to do. But this feels more like waking up to to your potential in a situation, to the potential of a connection or just in life, like seeing the beauty all around you. Cause for some reason I wanted to record this in black and white and I still might put that filter on here. I'm not sure because I kind of feel like sitting in the dark, it's all black and white and gray and not, not very vibrant. So there could be a level of depression going on for someone like you're just not in the best headspace or things aren't going right for you or something um especially if you're reflecting and I do feel like there's past stuff that someone might be going over even if it's quote-unquote meaningless stuff because for some reason I had some weird dreams last night and I I woke up thinking about certain people and past situations from when oh gosh when I was a teenager and I'm like I haven't thought of these people in forever I was like why why are they popping in my head so somebody could be like going back over things or just reminiscing over stuff that happened in the past. Cause I wasn't really reminiscing. It just popped in my head. Um, but anyways, like sitting in the dark and then finally seeing things come into color. Cause it's almost like, imagine all these flowers, everything around this girl is it's in black and white. There's no color here. And then all of a sudden, as she's waking up to he or she, as this person's waking up to a situation, just kind of figuring things out, it's like a burst of color. It's like light bulbs turning on in all the little flowers. And it's like, oh, there's some color. Choo, choo, choo. Brightening up a situation. Maybe you're brightening up someone's day or they're going to be brightening up yours. Learning to create what you desire. Realizing that you are the creator of your own universe and whatever you want to make happen, you can make it happen if it's what you want. You know what I mean? Um, there could be a masculine energy who's waking up to a connection or just a potential, like I said, like seeing things differently. Someone's seeing things very differently. And it's almost like they've known, whatever this is, they've known that this is important or special for a long time. It's just, I didn't want to believe it kind of thing. Someone could have thought that this connection or whatever the situation is was a figment of their imagination. Like, yeah, okay, um, I'm just imagining this faded event, all these signs and synchronicities and all the beautiful things that all these little light bulb moments, all the color that's splashing everywhere. It's just a figment of my imagination, um, but it's not. They know, they know it to be true, even if they're not speaking it. And someone might want to say something. 
to you or just to send one. I feel like I want to have a conversation with somebody about something. Maybe about a realization. It's just so funny that this card came out because I was singing that in the car. Wake up, little Susie. Either someone's really tired and they need to get out of bed or they're just waking up to things around them. Because um, I almost feel like Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So it could be like information overload for someone with these realizations. Whatever they are to them or you. Go the distance. Someone might be seeing just how far you've gone for them, like to help them, um, to connect with them, or whatever, whatever happened between the two of you. I feel like someone put a lot of effort into something, either into a project or into a person, a relationship or something. And it's almost like, wow, someone's waking up to the fact that you went above and beyond. You went above and beyond. And they want to fix something. But there's some type of chaos and BS here. I want to right a wrong. Somebody wants to end the confusion and conflict. So if you're... If there's any discord between you and another person, whether it's friend, family, lover, whatever, um, I feel like somebody might want to apologize for creating a level of conflict, but they don't want to fight with you. And it's like they know that they need to step up to the plate and right this wrong and apologize or something. But they could be fearing conflict. Like, if I come in and say sorry, if I fix this or do that, you're going to get mad at me or... It's going to create a problem with outside people or something. I don't know. It feels like there's... Is this the right move? Someone could be questioning that today. Because I, I seriously feel all bleh. And I don't know why. Like, I'm just like... Sullen. Because sometimes when you realize things... And then you sit back and reflect on your own actions. And, like, the part you played in a situation. It's almost like... Should I have said that? Should I have done that? I don't know. I kind of feel like... I don't feel like I screwed everything up. I feel like... How, how do I explain this? <laughs> I feel like what? Like what? Like what? I don't know. I feel bummed out for some reason. Alright. So what does go the distance here for? There could be distance between you and this person. Not necessarily though older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman you're either an older female in the situation or you're dealing with someone who is older than you that woman might want to right a wrong or apologize for something candle you will be shown the way If you're trying to figure out how to apologize to someone or whoever this is, if they're trying to figure out a way how to speak to you and apologize or do whatever, um, you'll be shown the way. Don't worry. Because there's the candle, there's the light with, you know, like all the epiphanies and stuff. Everything coming into focus, basically. I don't know. It's like a change in perspective is what it feels like because now I'm picturing old slides like, you know... Um, instead of having motion pictures or videos and stuff it was like little slides like on a projector and whatnot so that's how someone was seeing the situation you whatever they were seeing things from an outdated perspective and now they're moving into you know hd they they went from the slideshow to an iphone video you know what i mean it's something like that it's like i wasn't seeing things in this beautiful way someone was very close-minded and they want to apologize for shutting you out and not not paying attention, not listening to you, to themselves, to anyone in this situation. Because this feels, I don't know, this, this energy feels kind of stubborn to me. Like, I'm stuck in my ways. Because this is how it's always been. I've always thought this way, that way, whatever. And they have a really hard time changing their, their point of view. 
bird flying, news is on the way. That could create chaos and conflict. Whatever this news is might be upsetting somebody or it's going to upset someone. Because I did say someone was fearing a fight, an argument, like I don't want to cause problems kind of thing. But I kind of feel like whoever needs to deliver information or wants to say something, there's already a level of like conflict within the like in the air it's just kind of hovering over the situation just waiting to break loose to break free um and sometimes you just gotta ride out the storm you know what I mean it's like you gotta listen to what somebody has to say even if you don't agree even if in order to fix the situation sometimes you just gotta sit there and listen you know what I mean? Because for some reason now it's making me think of a dynamic like this. It could be a parent, child. It could be anyone in your life. It doesn't matter who this is to you. But it's like I was watching the show yesterday because um, I was exhausted from doing everything this week. I just laid down all day yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to just <sighs> lay like broccoli. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was watching the show Dahmer, which eh, I don't know. I didn't really like it, to be honest. But... Anyways, regardless of that, the dynamic between him and his father, every time he would go to say something in the show, his father would kind of shut him down and and not listen to what he had to say. He was assuming he already knew what he was going to say and was like he took offense to it immediately and it caused a lot of conflict. Like, you know, obviously Tomer did some bad stuff, but it wasn't because of his father. It was he was trying to explain you know, his thoughts and feelings and all that crap to his dad in the show. And his father, because he had that, the insecurity within himself, like he felt like he wasn't, a, he was an inadequate father. Like he didn't parent him right because he was looking at what he was saying from his own perspective and not from his son's perspective. He automatically got all defensive. So that could have happened in a situation or it's happening now, or someone's afraid of that happening. Like, will you really listen to me? That type of... That's what it feels like. Like, will you really listen? And just, just shut up and listen. So someone might need to just zip the lip and just listen. And not just hear what someone's saying. Like, truly listen. And not take offense to it. Because it's it's like when you share your feelings with somebody, whether it's loving feelings or not, and even if it's not geared towards them, like you're not directing it at them. Like, for example, if you're reminiscing over past stuff, you know, whether it's a happy memory or a sad memory, and it's like, okay, well, this, this, and this happened. Like you, like somebody, somebody did something and it hurts your feelings. And you're trying to explain that to them, like, okay, well, when you said this, when you did this, whatever it was, it made me feel blah, blah, blah. And that person goes, well, I didn't do that, and I never made you feel that way, because they're taking offense thinking you're attacking them when you're just trying to explain how you're feeling. So they're they're looking at it from a, a fucked up viewpoint, basically, and it could have caused a lot of problems. And somebody might be seeing, you know, seeing the other side of the coin here going, I created all these problems just because I was butthurt. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, not saying me, but, and not even, that's not coming from the person who was trying to express themselves. It was, it's coming from somebody who took offense to whatever they were saying because of whatever was going on with them. You know what I mean? They weren't looking in the mirror. They were just feeling attacked. And it caused a lot of problems. That's what that feels like. So that could be going on. For someone today, maybe somebody wants to actually speak up. Birds are very significant as well. Could have something to do with bird watching. There's just a lot of birds around. Birds are messengers. We have conflict. It could be conflict with a Scorpio. Um, not necessarily, but... I just heard I don't want to fight. Someone might have just thought you were trying to pick a fight or something, or they just, I don't know, I feel like I'm avoiding a person or a situation because I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight over an ending. I don't want to fight, period. I just don't, I don't want drama. I don't want problems, so I'm just not going to talk. I'm not going to be there. I'm just going to go away, or someone pushed you away because of that. Let me have the six of wands. Someone might 
feel like either you or someone else in the situation is just an attention seeker. It's like creating drama, potentially when it pertains to the dead, like people on the other side, for attention. Like you're just saying this, this, and this to get attention. If that's going on for you, that's not what's happening here. Close-minded people. And someone might be waking up to that like, whoops. Um, yeah, because this person's waking up. Seeing something clearly. Seeing the blessing. And now they're stressed. Because they could have created this conflict. It's almost like, I don't want to be around you and blah, blah, blah. Because I don't want drama and conflict. But they're the ones creating it. That's what this feels like. Because there is stress here, just saying. <coughs> I just heard you just tell me what I want to hear to make me want you. And that's not what that is. Because something's over. Someone might have felt like something was too good to be true because they were just had an inner battle going on. Um, whatever that is for you or them because it's different for everyone. Regardless of this older woman. Um... It's like fighting off your happiness because someone didn't believe in it. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is too good to be true. Mm -mm, I'm just going to end it right now. So someone could have rejected you, pushed you away, caused problems because they don't know how to be happy or they just didn't feel like they didn't see something. Like, I, d I keep hearing I didn't believe you. I did not believe you. So someone did not didn't believe you. And now they're worried about it. They're really worried. Someone didn't believe someone. I don't know what they didn't believe, but they didn't believe something you said. All right. Six of Wands. I just heard, come to me. Come to me. Somebody might have thought you were trying to lure them in. Or they didn't. If you just had a feeling to go somewhere, they might not have believed it. They could have thought you had an ulterior motive or something. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like. But I feel like if that's the case, they're realizing that you didn't have any motives at all. At all. At all. <laughs> Alright, what's up with the Six of Wands? Yeah. I don't know, there's some hard realizations here apparently because I feel like there's major misunderstandings that created conflict when someone was just looking at you as though you were the problem. Like you just feed off from conflict and you don't like, oh, you get enjoyment out of this when I'm fighting with everyone or when everyone's fighting with me or there's just discord everywhere. Mm -mm. Um, and they might be a little sad that they're not in your life now. For some of you, I also feel like if this older woman caused, like, hate, discontent, and drama, and bullshit, and the situation ended for you, you felt rejected for some reason, whether this is friends, family, whatever, like, it could be a family member of yours for some of you, like, you just feel like an outcast, like, they don't, nobody wants to deal with you or whatever, this person is actually getting their jollies off by creating this discord, keeping, keeping the fight alive, basically, I feel like... Somebody really enjoys causing problems because it's drama. But I don't feel like it's you. It's like, hey, there's problems. Bye. We don't have to deal with you now because someone doesn't like you. Just because they have a hair across their ass about you or whoever, whoever got pushed away, they were getting enjoyment out of creating conflict. Because it's like, oh, yeah, the Discord's still there. The bitch won't be here anymore. Yay. Like, and I don't feel like whoever I'm talking to or about is a bitch. I feel like the person creating these problems is a rotten human being. They have a lot of screws loose, just saying, whoever they are. Because it feels like a fight for someone's attention. I don't know. Let's just, if that's in your family, you're better off just letting them go. I'm just saying. And I kind of feel like it's almost like I want you gone. And I'm happy when there's problems. But 
but I'm not happy that you're happy. <laughs> so there's someone here who feeds off from your misery. They like it when you're feeling sad and rejected and uh, whatever. And through this discord, through this ending, you're still finding a level of fulfillment in your own life. And it's, they don't like it. They don't like it. Well, that person needs to get over themselves, whoever they are, and whatever the hell that is, just saying. But, all right. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person can be kind of arrogant. Uh, they're very prideful. I don't know. I feel like I want all the attention on me and not somebody else. Like, that's what this King person wants. Like, this person wants to reach a level of success. Yeah. They could be paying attention to you online or they're just, they're learning something. They're seeing something. I just heard what the fuck. So someone might be having a WTF moment. Somebody's watching a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so what's up with this conflict in Nine of Cups? It's very selfish. Someone's being selfish. We'll just leave it at that. There's selfish energy here. Creativity. Inspiration, productivity, creation, bring out the greatness within. And I feel like that's what you're doing. So there's a level of conflict and, di and disrespect because I almost said it. <laughs> Um, maybe somebody was disrespecting you, your name, whatever. It's within a home situation, but, um, or has something to do with family. Um, I feel like you inspire other people, but it's almost like you're reaching a level of success through your creativity, through whatever you're doing, even, even through the conflict, even through discord. It's like still, it's, it's working through. Some of you are taking a creative approach to the situation and it's like creatively maneuvering through a, like these difficulties and someone didn't think that you could do that. Like, how did you find a way out of this situation? How did you find a way around this person, whatever this is? How did you do all that? Because somebody else wouldn't have been able to. Or how would you figure all that out? I don't know. Something like that. And then we have compromise. Someone who rejected you, ended something, pushed you away, whatever. They want to compromise with you. It's like, can we meet in the middle? Let's meet halfway with whatever this is. Yeah, they were unawakened. Like I said, light bulb moments are going off everywhere. Because someone just didn't see something and now they are. It's like, I wish I saw this sooner kind of thing. Um, like, what the hell's wrong with me? Why did I say this, do this, act that way, whatever? I don't know what this is exactly for you guys, but um, somebody definitely wants to come to some type of mutual understanding or agreement. Like, I promise. I promise this won't happen again. Okay. Maybe somebody's made too many promises. Just saying, I don't know. Somebody wants, to, they miss you. I just heard, let's chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> Maybe somebody wants chocolate. Let's chalk this up to, um, put it all under miscellaneous. Is somebody organizing things or something? Like all of this is miscellaneous, which is like, it doesn't have a category. There's no category for this. So there's someone who's very structured in this situation that, I don't know, they're very logical, they think with reason, and it's like, it's it's almost like from a scientific standpoint, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times scientists have a hard time believing in the other side and spirituality because they need to have that concrete evidence all the time. It's like, I need to see it with my own eyes and understand it before, before I'll even believe it kind of thing. Even though 
science, scientific facts aren't always facts because they change all the time when we, when we understand whatever the hell is put in front of us. Same thing with spirituality on the other side. And someone might be seeing that. Yeah, because there's a tower moment, definitely. And they're getting ready to surrender. Somebody could have tried to mess with your success. Um, I don't know. Somebody, I feel like I want to destroy something for someone cause, because I don't understand it. <coughs> can't, can't understand normal thinking or something. Hmm. To see you next Tuesdays of the world, just seeing. Yeah, someone's paying attention big time. And it has something to do with social media. Social media can be a problem for you in this situation. It has perception. Someone's pretending to be picturesque and wonderful online, and their life is just a shit show. It's almost like, oh, I'm so happy about that, 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 and this and that, and, and, and like life is just fucking magical. But behind the scenes, they don't feel that way at all. They just want attention. So there is someone online that, that does that attention-seeking behavior. It's like looking for validation. You know when sometimes people will post on Facebook or somewhere, they'll be like, um, <coughs> I don't know, I have a lot going on today, I don't know what to do, my life sucks, but they don't give details. And they're just looking for validation. They're looking for attention. Because people will be like, oh my god, what's going on? How are you? And then they'll either be like, oh, never mind. I can't talk about it. Or message me or something. That's just because they're either stirring the pot. They just want attention. There's someone like that in this energy. And they're paying attention to you. But I don't feel like... You're the one doing that. I feel like there's just someone around that's doing that. Maybe that's who's paying attention to you. It's like all eyes on me. Someone could have even done something very drastic, um, which might fuck up their life. I'm just saying, I don't know. It's going to make their, whatever their situation is, it's going to be very difficult to maneuver through. And I almost feel like it's for attention or someone's going to get a lot of attention because of some tower moment, something that's going on with them is coming out and they're going to get a lot of attention for it. But it might not be the attention that they want. You know, it's like when you want someone, when these types of people want um, that positive feedback, like feel sorry for me, praise me, you know, they want all that validation and shit. <clears throat> that's not what this person's going to get. The attention that they're going to get is Oh, well, that sucks. What the, what the fuck were you thinking? You know, like, it's, it's the opposite of what they're expecting. I don't know, someone's not going to get the attention that they, that they want. They're going to get an attention, just not in the way that they want. Um, and it has something to do with social media and the internet. And actually, today, earlier, I was thinking about getting rid of Facebook completely. Tower moment. Like, I think I'm just going to... Because it's all catty bullshit on there. Um, I just, I don't, I'm never on the damn thing. And can't you deactivate it and not, like, delete it? Because I might do that. Or just start a whole new one or something. I don't know. I don't even care about it, to be honest. I'm never on there. I hate drama and all that stuff. And I was thinking about it because I do have, like, a Willow Vines account. But it's tied to my personal account. So I want to create a whole new page that's just strictly willow vines and maybe that's what I'll just use because personally there's nothing personal on my Facebook anyways like I just don't I don't know I think the internet is crap sometimes like I don't like that aspect of it because that's where a lot of problems come in you know misinformation confusion drama you know pinning people against each other cheating all that shit happens because of social media I mean, it happened without social media, but it's worse because of it. Because keyboard warriors, you know, people that won't say shit to your face will uh, type it out. You know what I mean? Like, me, 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 me. Because they can hide behind the screen. I don't know, maybe somebody's doing that. Because it feels like bully mentality here for some reason. Like, I don't know if it's mean girl crap or 
mean guy. I don't know. It feels very catty and stupid. Whatever these people have to say is dumb. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I just, it's a bunch of useless information. Maybe somebody's saying that. Maybe somebody thinks somebody's useless. <laughs> I don't know. Because there's like, I don't know, something like that. So what is this tower about real quick? Hmm. Yeah, we'll still use this. What is the tower about? Something, something to do with a tow truck? Getting your vehicle towed? He? A man? Something to do with a man or a boy? A male? The lovers? Maybe a man's going to get their truck or vehicle towed? Or they're a tow truck driver? I don't know what that is. Um... The pillar to your success is what I just heard. So that could be what this tower is. The pillar to your success. Yeah, because there's an unhealthy connection here. Someone's BS is getting revealed. And not through tarot and spiritual stuff. I mean, it could have been. But this feels like a WTF moment. Like someone's talking to another person they're gaining information through speaking to somebody because whatever someone was holding back is coming out it's like verbal diarrhea you know what I mean it's like okay I've been holding back holding back you know that feeling when you're nauseous and you're like I don't know if I'm going to be sick or not and you're just like holding it holding it holding it and then all of a, and then you just can't hold it back anymore it's just whoosh. that's what's happening with words <laughs> someone just can't hold back I have so much to say there's so much here. So much. Someone's been waiting forever to say something. Like, I don't think they can bite their tongue anymore. Because that's what this feels like. Like, I'm bursting at the seams. I gotta say something. And then there's conflict. Someone's gotta say, someone's bursting at the seams. They gotta say something. I've been waiting forever to say something. Hmm. I almost feel like there's a scare tactic here and someone was manipulating another person or people in this situation through fear, like making it too hard for someone to speak up or like they were too afraid to say this, that, or the other to own up to the, the role that they played in whatever the situation is. But I feel like they're going to do it. Like they're not afraid anymore. So someone's overcoming their fears and speaking up. Um, could be a child or a friend of yours, Tur Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Tur, Taurus. What's a turret? I've heard that word before. I don't know. Whatever. Terrace. I'll meet you out on the terrace. Isn't that like a balcony or something? So... Somebody could have a balcony or it's like on a second floor, second story. With work. It's making me think of Romeo and Juliet now because they had to hide. You know, they, they, her family couldn't know about him. So they'd meet outside so no one would see. You were outside with someone, talking, potentially with three people, or with something to do with work, a friend, or maybe a child. I'm talking outside. I'm talking outside about something. What? It's either talking outside of a situation or someone's literally outside talking because their parent, they don't want their parents to know or they don't want certain people to know. Like, let's talk outside because I don't want this person to hear whatever the hell we're talking about kind of thing. I don't know. Could have something to do with money. Holding back. Oh. 
I'm squeezing this now because I'm upset for some reason. Like, I just want to say something. I just want to tell you. Someone's biting their tongue. That's really what this feels like. Someone's biting their tongue and they just moved away. Like, <laughs> I'm just leaving the situation because and spending time alone because I don't know what to say or what to do in this situation. So let's see what somebody wants to say to you because I don't, like, hmm. There's a message of love or an apology here. Sorry if the energy feels funky in this because it, it does. <laughs> it feels funky. Like whatever this is feels like it's been a long time coming, but it, it just feels icky. I don't know. It doesn't feel like the best. It doesn't feel the best. It just, yeah, it doesn't feel the best. I just heard I'm sorry. So someone might really want to apologize for something. I need to work on my financial stability right now. I hope you understand. I'm too embarrassed to face you right now. Someone screwed up. And it has something to do with money. Somebody really screwed up. They're being greedy. <laughs> what the fuck? Like that goes along with what I just said. Well, this person needs to grow a set and say something. I'm just saying, because whoever they are, they're a chicken shit. They really are embarrassed, but it's like, get over your damn self. Please forgive me for not being there for you when you needed me the most. Yeah, someone's having financial issues. They weren't supportive. They weren't there. They're, they're like avoiding conflict, but, but creating it. Hiding information. Like, <sighs> you're everywhere I look. I see your face, hear your voice, and dream about you all the time. So this person's connected to you and they're heavily thinking about you. Probably because they effed up. Like. <sighs> voice. Something to do with someone's voice. It's almost like someone stole their voice because they weren't allowed to talk. It's like so and so wouldn't let me say this. Or I, I wasn't allowed to say this. It would have caused more problems. Or blah blah blah. Whatever. But someone's getting their voice back and it's like. All right, I'm going to say something now. Like, I'm not afraid to face you. I'm not embarrassed, even though you are. Or maybe they were embarrassed, and they're trying to gather the strength and courage to say something now. I don't think you're going to forgive this person unless they come in correct. It's like, man up, woman up. Or don't at all. Because <laughs> I feel like you've given whoever this is time to make something right. And to work on things, but they're not doing anything. They're not, they're not doing anything. Is there anything else with this? Leaving you hurt me too. Somebody ran with a lie. I don't know. I feel like they walked out of your life or pushed you away for all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons. And both of you might be feeling like like crap about it, but I feel like one of you is doing better than the other. No matter who this is to you, I wondered how far this would go. Someone kept something going, I'm just saying. And they shouldn't have. I want to know what they did. What is this? I wonder how far this would go. What is this about? Something to do with C. Yes. Like could be yes in Spanish. But that's the eight of wands. I was wondering how far this would go. And that's something to do with communication forward movement. I was wondering, wondering how far this communication would go. These messages would go. I was wondering how far these messages would go. W? I was wondering how far these messages would go. So for some of you, you either got catfished, hacked, or someone was sharing, sharing information. So if you're talking to someone, messaging them, they were sharing it with other people. But if this is spiritually speaking... I was wondering how far, how long I could keep something going and not in a healthy way. Because I feel like you saw through the bullshit. Even if you didn't understand what was going on or how someone knew something about you or whatever. 
you, you're not an idiot. And you figured something out. But someone went a little too far with it. And I feel like that's when it became absolutely obvious to you that someone was paying attention. You know what I mean? They were stalking you in some, in some way. They were fucking with you as well. Someone was really messing with you. And they, they could have, I don't know, I feel like whoever this is just lied to your face. They, they just continue to lie to your face. You can't come where I am going. And I feel like you're leaving the situation in the dust. You're just letting go of these people. Because it's more than one. I'm happy that it's over. So maybe a lot of you are happy that the BS is over with. Oh my God, this just gave me a wicked headache. There could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn female here that can't go where you're going. Because it's making me think of like, you know, whether it's friend or family or whoever, it's your, you show support to another person. And um, when you need them, they're not there. They're nowhere to be found. They don't talk to you. They don't, they, they don't want nothing to do with you. It's like you never existed. And then something bad happens to them. And all of a sudden they come crawling back like, you know, let's talk, let's get together, blah, 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 whatever. Because they need the help but they're not there for you. And you might be realizing things like that, like within people around you. And it's like, as much as I care, you can't come where I'm going. Like you're, I'm not going to deal with, with your crap anymore because it's one-sided. So a lot of you are cutting ties with certain people because they, they're causing more, more harm than good. Like having whoever this is stay in your life is more harmful than, than beneficial is what it feels like. And that doesn't even feel like a romantic partnership. It feels like it could be a fr friends or family. It's like not knowing what to do, being stuck at the fork in the road. Like I don't want to stay in this doom and gloom. I want to be in HD and in order to move away from the negativity, like I said, you're going to have to go in a completely different direction. And whoever this female is, they're not going to like it. Because they need help. So they want to apologize. It's like, oh, I need help now. So I'm going to apologize and make everything freaking right. And they're paying attention. They're watching. They're going to see how I can fix this. And they're acting like they were never part of the problem. Like everything's fucking fine. But it's not. And you can see right through them, basically. Because you're just building a solid foundation for yourself and moving forward. And I feel like you only want people who will build with you to be in your life and to be around you. It's like, if you're not helping me and you're just going to stand around and hurt me or take from me, take my energy, my time, my money, my whatever, I don't need you around because I want to be happy. So a lot of you are focused on yourselves and your happiness. And I don't feel like it's very fulfilling, a very fulfilling feeling leaving some of these people behind. Cause like I said, it's more than one person, but in the end, it will lighten your load. Does that make sense? So that's pretty much what I have for you for this energy. Hopefully now that I did this reading, things will clear up because I don't know, this, this funky energy is driving me nuts. It has something to do with work. <coughs> just keep, just stay focused on your work. Your financial situation will improve if it's not, if it hasn't already. Um, your hard work is paying off because I feel like a lot of you are very focused and dedicated to whatever projects or career path you, you have going for yourself, regardless of interference and problems. Um, I just heard you're going to make it happen. You will make it happen. And then we have the page of pentacles. This could be younger energy or friend of yours you're gonna make it happen so someone might want to make something happen with you like I gotta make this work 
the devil. So I'm always trying to make something happen. Okay, this is pissing me off. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, whatever this work thing is, someone was working really fucking hard to make something happen for you. But it feels like it's actually for them. Like, creating... <sighs> I just want to bitch slap someone in this energy. I really do. They were creating confusion, but I feel like bringing your fears to life, bringing, just making shit happen. And it was all for them. It's almost like, cause it's making me think of making predictions happen again, like making predictions come true. So when you say certain things and someone's paying attention then they can make it happen. So it's like, Oh, well, you know, so-and-so is not really, really psychic or whatever. They're not really this or that, but we'll, We'll do whatever we can to make it appear so. But you actually do have these abilities. Mm -hmm. And that might be, I don't know, that blew up in someone's face or it's going to. <clears throat> Someone's trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it right quick and they don't really know how. Like, whoops. I feel like I gotta do something really fast all of a sudden. Like I gotta do this. I gotta do this right now. Cause I'm running out. I gotta do this right now cause I'm running out of freaking time. What the hell is this? <laughs> What's this sneaky crap? Oh, there's a lot. There's something to do with someone's work that's a problem. Ow. And a knife. A knife is also significant. And feathers. And the moon. Like, honestly, I'm going to have to sage the crap out of this space because this energy is really ticking me off. Like, I don't even want to be in this house right now. Like, I literally just, in my head right now, I'm thinking, like, I just want to go. I'm going to leave. I get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be here. And that's what how I was feeling before when the energies were crazy, but... The energies are fine. It's just, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Picking up on unhealthy people. Yes. I don't want to be here. It could be somebody else that didn't want to be around you. Because you would know that they're full of crap. That they're a problem. a Capricorn involved, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't want to be here. There's someone who wears sweatpants a lot too. I know a lot of kids do nowadays. It's like the style and stuff, but um, I don't know why I keep thinking of this all of a sudden. I wasn't going to say, I was I thought of it in, the, in a different reading, but I never said it. And for some reason, staring at this Page of Pentacles card is, is reminding me of Friday night when my daughter was getting ready for the dance and stuff. And I had busted my butt making that dress and I had to do her hair and all that crap. Well, I didn't end up getting pictures of her and her boyfriend before the dance because one of my son's friends showed up shit-faced. Which pissed me off because he knows he's not allowed to drink here. He's underage and he showed up with it. Because the cheap beer, which I did mention in a different reading, too. Someone drinks that nasty, natty, daddy, naturalized crap, which is younger people or poor people. Because who the hell would really want to drink it? It tastes like shit. But anyways, it gives you a stomach ache from hell, too. Um, like gut rot, just saying. Anyways, um, he showed up drunk to the point where... I was like, just finished doing my daughter's hair and I hear, oh, he's puking upstairs. And I'm like, what? So I was not very happy. And of course, my son and his other friend had to carry him down the stairs and drag him through the house because he couldn't even walk just to bring him home. And I'm like, way to ruin the night. You know, we didn't allow it to ruin my daughter's night, but I didn't get pictures. It was a chaotic 
like it was chaos and bullshit getting them out the door and then having him leave because I was like how dare you come here and do that again like what the that's why he doesn't live here anymore because he kept pulling that crap and I'm like no so anyone who said my house is a fucking party house and crap kissed my ass because it's not those little fuckers show up here that way and I tell them to leave when I find out because they'll hide it from me because they know that I don't allow it and I do not buy that shit for them but anyways like, I just, I seriously wanted to smack the shit out of him. Like, I'm like, how dare you? You know, you're 18 now. Cut the crap. Because he hides from me a lot. Because he knows that I know things. And it's weird, because when he first showed up, because he hasn't been huggy or anything, I was like, maybe he's high or something. I don't know, because he wasn't acting effed up. He was just, he actually come over to give me a hug. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, Hi. And I didn't really think too much of it, but I'm like, he doesn't normally approach me anymore. He hasn't in a long time. <coughs> and then um, after I hugged him, I went out into the garage and I literally, I sat down and I'm like, I think I'm going to go, I think I need to lay down. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack or something. Like my breathing got really heavy and I'm like... I don't feel well. I'm really tired. What the hell? It just hit me out of nowhere. Why am I feeling this way? And then I, I saw, um, my son's friend's mouth in my face, his lips. I saw it in, um, in my mind's eye. And I was like, they were purple, like purple and blue, which is weird. Cause when I went shopping, um, when we were looking for a dress before I decided to make it with my daughter, when we were in Walmart, she told me, she goes, mom, your lips are purple. And I could see like a tinge, but they weren't really purple, but maybe it was the lighting. I was like, I don't know, like I'm fine. And I saw his lips turn purple in my head and I was like, hmm, that's weird. And then when he come downstairs, they were, they were purple, almost blue. And then all that happened and stuff. And I was like, I wonder if something bad's going to happen to the kid. If he doesn't smarten up and make better choices, something bad will happen because there's bad habits with that. And I even told my son that. I said, he's not coming back here for a while just because that really ticked me off. But he needs to take care of himself because he's not going to like where he's headed. I'm just saying. He's really not going to like where he's headed. But that really upset me. I was like, you know, don't bring that bullshit here. Someone doesn't like what they're hearing or what they need to say. They, 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 I don't know how to say something. I can't talk. I can't talk. I don't want to talk. Tripping over my words, the devil. Some of you could be communicating with a Capricorn, but someone does not like they don't like what you're saying. They don't like certain messages. They don't like who you're talking to, what you're saying to them, or spiritual crap. They just don't. Um, there is someone who is in this energy who does a lot of negative things for attention. They say certain things and do certain things just to get pity, to, to get attention. Like, you know, feel bad for me type energy. Um... And I feel like it's not really working. It might be upsetting someone. Like, because I don't feel like you're really feeling bad for whoever that is or whoever those people are. Because whatever they're doing, they're doing it to themselves. And they're feeling kind of rejected and lonely and left out now because you're not catering to their their toxic behaviors is what it feels like. Um, their attitude either. You're just like, oh, you want to have an attitude? You're just walking away. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're shutting out the leeches. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. I love you a long time. Peace.